Hi everyone, it's Ryan from Ryan G's Barbecue and Stuff. Today I'm going to be doing a Christmas recipe. Just a bit like a Christmas dinner. We always have roast pork and I'm going to cook it on my spit roast on my Weber kettle. So let's get to cooking. Okay, so what I'm going to be using for this cook is the Meter Plus, which is really nice. Good bit of kit. A couple of bits of pork, drip pan. Obviously the um, rotisserie attachments so I can spin it on the kettle. I'm gonna get all this rock in and away we go. So this is ready to go on the spit. Let's give it a bit of a poke in there. Always mind your fingers. There we go, all the way through. It's gonna be about there because I'm kind of used to doing this now. I'll just pop my spikes on. Make sure they're ready to go. Land on the other side, I'll just pop this one on as well. And give it a bit of a squeeze up. Nice and tight. Because the meat will shrink as it cooks. I only decided to use one of these pork butts in the end because my wife told me only to use one, so that's what I'm going to do. Just going to actually, I'm going to adjust this down a little bit more because that needs to go that way. And just pull it along a bit. That should be about right, I think. Now what you gotta do, just give it a bit of a pat to make sure it's um, nice and dry and add some seasoning. To be fair, it's gonna kind of self-baste itself anyway on the rotisserie, it's gonna be nice and juicy and we're gonna get some really good crackling. But yeah, that's the pork on the spit. And we chuck her on the barbecue in a minute. Right, back again, outside for the cook. Guess what, got my Christmas jumper on. Happy Christmas everybody, thank you for watching and supporting the channel, always looking forward to growing and um, making some fantastic cooks for you guys, so if you can stick along, watch a video, like and share, that's greatly appreciated. There'll be links up there that you can check out some of my other videos. But um, enough of this interim, you want to see the pork spinning, so we're going to get that on the barbecue now. So I'm just going to get this pork mounted on the um, rotisserie now, chuck it in there. Line that up with a square. Move it back a little bit. There we go, that's got it all located now. Not a bad guess, was it? Maybe move it back a little bit. That should slide quite easy. Not a problem. Knock it off again. It's all good to go. As you can see the meter probe there, um, doing its magic, that's all hooked up to the phone. Let, let us know when the meat's done. Mm. I'm gonna be having a lovely bit of pork tonight. As I said, this is what we'd normally have on Christmas day along with our turkey. Uh, just for the crackling really, and um, a good Boxing Day meal. So stick around and I'll show you what, uh, what it looks like. Okay, so we're just about to put these potatoes with some hot oil. Always tip the potatoes away from you because you don't want them splattering. You hear the sizzle? That's some really hot stuff right there. And just give them a little bit of a shake. I've also got some parsnips to put in. They can just go around the edge. But they're pretty good too. And then we get some, um, just get a spoon. 
and spoon the fat over the, the potatoes just to cook them a nice little glaze. Now I just get in on do these and show you what's the finished product in about an hour. So I'm just going to break this cabbage down. It's sort of I've taken the outer leaves off. The reason I'm doing it like this is this is about this is how my nan done it. Um, we've kind of got a bit of a tradition in our house. We have Bubblin Creek on Boxing Day. So generally we buy a load of cabbage, break it all down, and then we'll have a bubble and sweet, which is basically potato, leftover potatoes and whatever root veg you got. And then you fry it in a pan with butter with some cabbage and whatever seasoning you want. It's really nice. It's not for everyone, but it's how we do it. So, um, you know. So, so to be honest, it's a bit of a throwback to my, my, well, my nan still does it. I haven't really seen her this year because of COVID and stuff. It was one of my granddad's favorites. There we go, you just cut it into strips like that. And you just bang that in the, in the pan. I repeat the process with all of these leaves. Um, once they're boiled up, I'll show you that. I'll just repeat it again. Let you take the stem out. You take the stem out with a nice sharp knife. You can leave it in if you want. That's just how I got shown how to do it by my grandparents. So this is how I do it. And just. Cut it into strips and bunk in the pan. Right, I'll see you in a little while. Okay, so the meat's had a rest now, so I'll just take out the meter. Oh, that sounds nice and juicy. Now I'm gonna remove the crackling. As you can see, nice and crispy. We've got our roast potatoes and parsnips over there. And there's the cabbage. All good. So yeah, as I said, I'm going to take the skin off. It's going to run underneath. Nice sharp knife always helps. That to one side. And take some cuts just to show you lot. How oh, lovely is that cooked look? Nice and juicy. Perfect. Let's give another slice. I'll plate this up and show you the finished results. Mm. Well, I'll show you the plate of food anyway. I suppose that is the finished result. So the dinner's done. All we've got to do is eat the crackling. Nice and crunchy. Look at that pork, it looks gorgeous. Lovely roast potatoes and parsnips. My nan's cabbage recipe. Just loads of butter and salt, reduce it down. A little bit of water to make an emulsion. It's really good. Obviously apple sauce, because that's what we do. Everybody likes a bit of apple sauce. And some gravy. Let's tip that on there. How nice is that? <clears throat> the meter worked perfectly. Really impressed with it. Even gives you the rest time. So if you like what I do, please do hit the subscribe button. Share this video, like it. Tell everybody how good it is. This is Ryan G from Ryan G's Barbecue and Stuff. Merry Christmas. See you again soon. Okay, so here we are outside for the cook. 